Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Okay, so we're going to create our first bootstrap document. So all the other things we've done up until now have been little play arounds just to get used to things. And so now we're going to build our full site. So first thing we need to do, remember, is to create a site definition. We need to do that for every new site, even if you're just playing around, make a new site for it, play around with that one, but make a new site when you move on to the next project or the next trial. So we're going to go to new site. We're going to call this one my bootstrap website. You'd give it something else. Okay, that name, remember, can be anything you like. We've got to pick a local file. So I'm going to put it on our desktop. I'm going to call this one uh, Bootstrap Website. Click Choose. And the only other thing I'm going to do is under Advanced Settings, I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to create a folder in here called Images and click Choose. Great. Let's click Save. Okay, so uh, next thing we're going to do is go to File, New. And up the top here, we're going to pick HTML. And instead of none, we're going to start with Bootstrap. Now, uh, this tick on is, is on by default. They include pre-built layout. And that's kind of cool. Watch this. If I click pre-built, it's got a full website ready to go. Now, uh, it's probably, you could jump in here, but you'll get lost pretty quick if you start with something this complex. So what we're going to do is close it down. And we're going to file, new. And we're going to start with just a plain document and we're going to build it up together to build our own website. So just make sure it's set to create new and make sure that's unticked and let's click create. Okay. What you might have noticed quite quickly there, it just had an images folder a second ago, but now it's got the CSS folder, a fonts folder and a JavaScript folder. That's because all the pre-made stuff for Bootstrap um, has been installed into all of those folders. So let's go and have a look at what created. I'm going to go to Finder. I'm going to find my desktop. And there's my Bootstrap website. And you can see uh, there is in the CSS. There's the Bootstrap CSS. There's some fonts that have been installed. They're all Glyphicons. And some JavaScript to get it going. Okay, some jQuery and some special Bootstrap stuff. Great, so all of those files come together to produce our website. Along the top here, you can see we've got a bunch of different things. We've got our source code. Okay, at the moment it's untitled, so let's save that. File, save. This is our HTML. Now we're going to call it index.html. Whenever you're building a website, you need at least one page called index.html, and it has to be spelt like that, lowercase. And, and that will be your home page. You can't call your home page home page, you've got to call it index.html. Every other page you get to name, um, you can name whatever you like, but for the home page, it needs to be called index.html. Let's click save. So we've got a bunch of files. We've got our HTML file, which is him. Okay. And up the top here, there is a CSS sheet and a couple of JavaScript files that help Bootstrap work. Now they're all separate files, but remember Dreamweaver is quite clever and helps us see them all. If I click on uh, CSS, it shows you down here. These are separate files. But Dreamweaver is really quite good because it shows them all together and how they interact. So we're going to go back to source code. Okay, and we're going to go to live view. Whew, safety. Okay, get away from that code. Actually, before we go from code view, let's go back to split and let's click on source code. That shows me um, the HTML okay, of the index page. Now, down the bottom here, um, I guess a big thing, actually, it's got a full code view. Wow. Now, and you can see at the top here, it's linking to my CSS sheet. It's added, it's added some extra bits of code, okay? So you can see here in the head, it's got something called HTML shim. Don't worry about it, just don't remove it. Um, it just helps um, older browsers deal with bootstrap, okay? And you can see in here it says IE8 um, support kind of helps some HTML5 features. Just don't remove it and you'll be fine. The reason I came in here to show you is I just want to quickly refer to this thing called the head and the body. Okay, you can see the head has an opening and you can see a uh, slash then head for the close. So everything in here is stuff that gets onto the document that you don't see. Okay, so there is the title of my page. There is the linking to the different CSS sheets and JavaScript files. So lots of that type of stuff goes in the head. Now in terms of the actual website, it's this stuff down here. Okay, in the body. So anything that you actually see in the website goes in the body and there's the open and then there's the close. So this is where our uh, logo is going to go, all our images are going to go. That needs to be in this body tag. 
All right, so when you create a new file in Dreamweaver, it produces all the files you need, sticks them in the folder for you, ready to go. Hey there, remember this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link and below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da da.